Here's how Chelsea line up. Yeah, it's a 4-5-1, but it will morph into a 4-2-3-1. The single centre forward will be supported by the number 10, and you'd expect them to rotate and swap positions just to try and drag defenders out. The wide midfielders, they'll offer a threat in behind. Here's today's Aston Villa team. Yeah, it looks like a 4-4-2, and I always think that this system offers a strong defensive presence all over the pitch. And in attack, you always have numbers getting forwards. They've got quality out wide, so I'm sure the flanks are going to be used today. First kick of the ball, and we're away. Douglas Luiz. Thiago Silva. Dizarsi. Malo Gusto is drifting into a useful position here. Cuts it back. Oh, a great chance. And the ball is still alive. More work to do yet. And it's a decent stop by the goalkeeper. Into the box it goes. And in a crowded area, the keeper's done well to hold on to that. Ubakar Kamara. Fantastic looking ball. Oh, good. Off the keeper, off the post, and danger averted. Enzo Fernandez. And Kunku. A chance to deliver into the box. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, that's an own goal. They'll take it, of course, whoever gets the end credit. Well, here's the replay. And I think any way you look at this, it's going to go down as an own goal. Really unfortunate. So off we go at 1-0. Ollie Watkins. Ubakar Kamara. That looks decent, making progress here. Nkunku. On to Gallagher. Bit sloppy in possession. John McGinn. An attack of genuine promise now. Chelsea showing good width here. Could get it over now. Nobody else was getting that once the keeper's mind was made up. Enzo Fernandez. And there's another one. Valuable breathing space for them now. Well, here's the replay, and the delivery is just right, isn't it? It's in the danger area, just asking for someone to get on the end of it. And he doesn't even have to move. He finishes it well, but the defending is poor. You've got to get closer to him. They'll be disappointed to concede that. Camera. And it's not clear yet. 
great chance here. It's there. Hope restored. They're back in this game. So off we go at 2-1 now. Sterling. On to Gallagher. Gallagher. Can he finish? Vital tackle, and he's come away with it. John McGinn. Need to get tighter here. Well, he caught that with everything he's got, but it's missed the target handsomely. Thiago Silva. Good work to recover possession. Surely the equaliser. And a marvellous save. Well, he just shows great reflexes and agility to keep that out. It's a top-class save. Decent-looking cross played in. And he's got that one away. And the pass is incomplete. Nicely won. They're not getting close enough here. Has to be. Great save. That's what he's there for. I just don't think he can believe that that's not got in, but he's met his match with the keeper. His superb reactions kept that one out. Well, the danger's still there. Camera. Now it needs a good ball in. It's cleared, and they can breathe easier. And this could be. And he's missed it. Good heavens. Well, he's got to score that guy. It's a huge opportunity to equalise. Bailey. A chance to get something going here. As the stats show, Villa have controlled possession over the last 15 minutes. And they're not just keeping possession well, they're creating opportunities too. And you can see that they do believe that this equaliser is coming. The game brought to a halt, a free kick given for that. A turnaround in possession, excellent positioning. And he hasn't gone in the book. That's good officiating. No need to put him in the book for that. Bailey. A good spell on the ball, but they are still behind. DLB! And that's not a bad save at all. They opt to go short with the corner. And cleared well away from goal. And that's a bad one. Just how bad is down to the referee. And there we are, yellow card. Well, you could tell by his body language, he knew a card was coming there. Enzo Fernandez. And that brings to an end the first half at Stamford Bridge. And so the second half gets underway, and although Chelsea lead, that could quite easily change. Space to attack here for Chelsea. Sterling. And the ball has been lost. There's a chance for the breakaway here. And that might have ended up being better than it has. Gallagher. 
And he's asked plenty of questions of the back line. Certainly been difficult to contain. Well, he's done well. He's been brave on the ball. Always an option, but the rest of his teammates... Oh, what an opportunity this is! And the goalkeeper does what he's there to do. And here it comes. Another goal! And it's one that tightens their grip on this game. Well, we can see it again, and it's a great set piece. He delivers it into a dangerous area, and it's a good finish too. Able to make good contact, and I'm not sure the keeper could have done much about that, to be honest. And we're back underway at 3-1. Bubakar Kamara. Enzo Fernandez. Fernandez. There could be something building for Chelsea here. Can he finish? And further clear they go. There's surely no throwing this one away. Well, we can see it again now. He does so well to slip past his man, leaves him stranded. And when he's through on goal, there was no doubt that he was going to score. He set himself well, and then what a tidy finish. Well, it's been a tremendous display from Chelsea so far, and you sense they could get more goals yet. Dean. Zaniolo. Watkins. Douglas Luiz. Oh dear, it's a miss. It's an effort he won't want to see again. Malo Gusto. Tizasi. Fernandez. Gusto. On to Gallagher. Malo Gusto. Gallagher. Enzo Fernandez. And they went too soon. It's offside. That's not the best distribution. And Kunku. Ollie Watkins. Chelsea come away with the ball. Fernandez. On to Gallagher. And he's being urged to shoot. Oh, a great chance. Well, he's kept that out nicely. Douglas Luiz. Daniolo. This is a good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? The 
chance now for a quick transition. And that ultimately has come to nothing. Finds himself with space now. And that hasn't got far. Chelsea finding space on the flank. And they've scored again. It's become a question of just how many they'll get. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. It's just begging for someone to get on the end of it. And it's intelligent movement and a strong connection to take it past the goalkeeper. It's a good finish, that. Off we go then for the final time, perhaps. Or maybe not, as they continue to dominate. Axel Dizassi. A lot of room out wide for Chelsea. And the cross comes in. The danger averted for now. Could be a chance to break here. Nicolo Zaniolo. They found a way through. Oh my goodness! He's caught that so well. It's a goal of real class. Well, we can see it again now. And what a perfect cross that is. It's just inviting someone to attack it. And then this is a difficult technique and he makes it look so easy. Watches the ball onto his foot and then just cushions it past the keeper. It's a really neat finish. Seven goals in the game now then, 5-2 as it kicks off again. Chelsea being afforded too much space here. Enzo Fernandez. On he goes, terrific. Sterling. The ball back with Martinez. McGinn. There is the final whistle, and it's Chelsea who take the three points. Well, that was an emphatic result, wasn't it? They looked so confident in attack. Every time they went forward, you thought they were going to score. I'm sure they'll be pleased with that. Well, of all the players we've seen today, none have shone more brightly than he has. What are your thoughts on that performance, Sue? He was certainly one of the standouts. A threat throughout. Just never stopped running. And when the chances came, he took them well.